Hello friends, welcome to this YouTube channel where we discuss matters relating to careers and financial planning. Now one of the burning topics that has been discussed for the last week has been this gentleman called Mr. Suroji who has been found that in Calcutta the police raided the house of Mr. Pavitra Roy and found 240 answer scripts of the CA examinations in his possession. So this apparently has been outsourced to him by Mr. Suroji Datta and uh, now the challenge is that what is the kind of brand assassination that has happened to the entire examination process of the CA Institute. So let's remember there are 18,000 examiners in this entire process, more than 12 lakh copies that are manually checked. Now the biggest question that one would say is that blame the institute, institute is responsible, they always know that people have been outsourcing the evaluation to their articles or to third parties all for some petty gains. Now the question that arises is larger than the blame game. So you can for one blame the CA Institute that it is not acting and it is itself the audit watchdog and it does not have control measures in place for preventing such incidents. But remember that uh, the manual method of examination involves actually having these 12 lakh papers being sent to different examiners across the country and uh, they in turn evaluate them through a strict process and send it back to the institute. It is very much possible that out of these 18,000 examiners there will be stray incidents. Now to call these incidents stray also can be quite an injustice to the student whose future depends on the authentic checking of these answer scripts. So many students have suffered because of incorrect evaluation. Now over a period of time if such incidents have kept on happening the larger question will be that can the institute sustain the manual method of evaluating a student which to an extent has become quite an obsolete thing if you look at the world around you. So the IMs of the country used a computer based CAT examiner. The GMAT is completely computer based. If you look at CPA, so they use a mix of multiple choice questions and task based simulation. So the student who appears for the CPA exams actually has to sit on that computer and perform dimensions such as filing of returns on that computer. The ACCA uses computer based examination. International CFA also uses computer based examination. So why is the CA Institute still stuck in that archaic method of having this manual system of accounting and then bundling them into 400 or 300 odd lots of papers and then sending it to various examiners. That to my mind is the biggest flaw in this entire system. Of course yes there are going to be infrastructural challenges that for more than 1 lakh examinees how many computers can you arrange. So can you distribute it over a period of 3 months like the MBA institutes do because the number of examinees here is humongous. Another major suggestion that comes is centralized method of evaluation. Friends I have a suggestion here in fact a major suggestion here that this is not practical. You can compare this with the CBSE and say that they have 30 lakh students in the system all the papers are evaluated centrally. But remember that in case of CBSE the people who check the papers are full time teachers, full time academicians at CBSE's disposal. In case of CA exams for CA, IPCC and final and foundation the papers are checked by members themselves and these members are engaged in full time job elsewhere or in practice. Now to tell them that you quit that job for 10 days, 12 days and come to the centralized halls for evaluation will be quite an injustice. You will have to tell them to tell their bosses that sir I have taken the CA Institute's mandate to evaluate 300 papers please grant me leave for 12 days and in the midst of those 12 days you could have important meetings coming up, important tenders coming up. So will the bosses grant leave? 
if someone is in practice you could have tax filing return season and in the midst of that can you ask people to go to a centralized hall for evaluation for 12 days or 10 days that friends is a practical challenge so the entire pool that is of access to you today works on the part time model so everyone has got a full time job either in industry or in practice and does this part time morning evening weekends now the centralized method will have that challenge having said that can you actually do something about this entire thing i think it's a lot of blame game that is being played of course you will have student protests and they are fair in that protest that their rights are not being served the other dimension also will be the examination fees so today the ca examination fee is paltry if you compare with the other exams other exams globally if you benchmark charge at least 50000 rupees for an examination can be charged 50000 rupees for examination is a larger question you can have multiple suggestions on that that how instead of 2000 rupees or 3000 rupees how can i provide services with our worth 50000 rupees at that price point because ca institute also serves the purpose of the middle class and the lower middle class of the country in terms of empowering them with a professional qualification so friends it's a larger question don't just get swayed in social media you'll have lot of people saying different things i myself fully support your cause but let's think from a practical perspective what are the challenges involved in this process and how we collectively as an institute and its members are going to overcome that you know because an institute is as good as the members and those members are part of a larger society where value systems have fallen down drastically and you can look at the world around you can fall that that yes people are not as ethical today as they were before so an institute is a microcosm of a larger society where value systems have fallen so these things are bound to happen so unless you actually shift from the manual method to a computer based method these things are going to happen so i'll be very blunt and honest these things are going to happen because human behavior is like that in modern time will you randomly send cbi rates to those 18000 examiners at their houses that who is actually checking them that is practically friends not really possible so that's my thing how can we actually evolve away from this manual based system to a computer based system knowing fully practically that the cost also will be a major dimension the ca institute started this mcq for 30% of the paper but again they still continue to the pen and pencil paper now there again the challenge is that if the circle is not darkened properly it will not be scanned by the omr reading machines so what is the way forward what in your view should be the remedy for this major malpractice that has come to our light in terms of mr surojit having outsourced the evaluation process to mr pavitra roy and the kolkata police having raided the premises seized the paper and put them behind the bars please put it in the comment section below i shall be happy to engage in a healthy discussion with you on this thank you so much all the best bye bye and if you like this channel please subscribe to this please share this video with your near and dear ones bye bye thank you